Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Pemco number 2230DNB. This is a dark bronze anodized aluminum door shoe. It's a door bottom. It's, an, it's a really nice door bottom because of what it does, because of the features of it. Let's go over that. First of all, the 2230 is representative of the profile. The D means dark bronze anodized. It's going to also be available in uh, the A finish, which would just be mill finish aluminum. And certainly D, you can get uh, G, you can get it in gold as well, or dark, um, yeah, gold anodized on aluminum. The NB means nylon brush. Okay, So this item is not only a door bottom or a door shoe or a door sweep, call it what you want, an L-shaped. So it's going to seal off nicely that outside corner of the door. It's going to incorporate this drip cap. And anyone who's installed items that incorporate, uh, anyone who's installed hardware where there are drip caps installed, either at the bottom of a door integrated into a door sweep, or at the header of a door or a window for that matter, uh, can attest and will attest to the effectiveness at the material really just helping drive the water away from the point or the plane of the door kicking it out even this small dimension which is about 9 16 uh, is incredibly effective at helping prevent the water from getting so close to the face of the door that it can then get inside now the nylon bristle that's incredibly effective as well not only is it extremely durable and long lasting but the hallmark of bristle is that it will contour itself to an irregular surface and if my fingers were to be the uh, example or exemplification of an irregular floor, uh, floor surface, you can see exactly how the bristle contours itself. Now, of course, my fingers are exaggerated, but if you had just a threshold that had a fluted, has a fluted top, you would really need something that would contour itself to the peaks and valleys of your threshold. You might have just a concrete slab, whatever the case might be. Bristle is incredibly effective. Uh, people in the restaurant business like nylon bristle compared to neoprene, silicone, certainly vinyl, uh, because the inspector is looking for daylight. If they can see daylight, critters can get in. That's the logic. Bristle really knocks the daylight down, that's for sure. And that's why people like it, because if you can't see daylight, you know you've got a positive seal there. Okay. Nice material. Now, there's an image below this video showing the important dimensional properties of this item. Let's go over that now. First and foremost, the most important dimension, in my opinion, is that 11 16 dimension. Uh, from the bottom of the door to the bottom of the uh, bristle. It's coming in a bit heavy on 9 16 or 11 16 It's coming in closer to 13 16 for what I've got. So keep in mind, I'm measuring 13 16 I would probably want my gap, my undercut, to be about 3 quarter inch for this. Um, then you have uh, 1 in 5 16 overall height of the aluminum extrusion. Yeah, close, not exact. 3 quarter inch width down here of the aluminum itself. Yeah, that makes sense. Three quarter inch. <clears throat> what some people will do is, well, there's always lots of unusual applications of hardware in general, but you've got a two and a quarter inch thick door or some very odd width, thickness. You want to have a drip cap on the outside, so some people will take this and install it on the outside face of the door, then get the L version with the bristle without the drip cap and put that on the inside gives them two points of seal, plus allows them to shoe the bottom of the door. Even though it's not a U, still gives them you know, pretty much that same sort of uh, end result. Available in several different lengths in the website. If you have need for a custom length, by all means, let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field what length you'd like to cut the material back to. Now the reasoning is, if you had to take this 48 inch piece and cut it down to say 42 inch, you'd eliminate that slotted hole that's there. And that slotted hole is incredibly handy to have 
uh, when you're installing it because it will help account for a sill that's not level or a door and frame that aren't plumb. It'll help account for the hole when you're pre-drilling the, the hole for the screw. That drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit before it pierces in if you've not used a center punch, regardless of what you're drilling. Steel, fiberglass, wood, aluminum, stainless, bronze, uh, all of it. Uh, so that slotted hole can be the difference between an ill-fitting or a, an ill-fitting door sweep or one that is ineffective. Okay, so I like to have those slotted holes from the factory. Speaking of those holes, screws are included in a complementary finish, regardless of the finish that you order. Um, so if you order a custom length, we'll not only locate that first slotted hole the proper distance from the edge, but the proper center to center as well. The name Pemco is synonymous with all things weather stripping related, and that I really mean all things. They are the most comprehensive manufacturer uh, of weather stripping from a single supplier or manufacturer that I'm that I'm ever uh, been aware of. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full line product catalog and review thing, all things Pemco weather stripping, not only either residential or commercial, but exclusively commercial and those exclusively residential. Any questions? Exclusively? Yeah. Okay, got it. Any questions on the Pemco number 2230 DNB nylon bristle type door sweep or door shoe with a drip cap or any other Pemco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.